Naturalist and explorer William Bartram explored Georgia, Florida, and parts of the Carolinas in the mid-1770s on the eve of the American Revolution. His journal, a rich and colorful account of his journeys, includes marvelously detailed observations about flora, fauna, the Cherokee and Creek peoples, weather, and geography. Bartram wrote the following passage during a long journey by canoe up the St. Juan, the St. John's River, in East Florida in 1774. His reverence for the Almighty and his appreciation of creation remind me of the song of Moses in Deuteronomy 32. So I titled this the creation song of William Bartram. Ye vigilant and faithful servants of the Most High, ye who worship the Creator morning, noon, and eve, in simplicity of heart, I haste to join the universal anthem. My heart and voice unite with yours in sincere homage to the great Creator, the universal Sovereign. O oh, may I be permitted to approach the throne of mercy. May these humble and penitent supplications amidst the universal shouts of homage from thy creatures meet with thy acceptance. And although I am sensible that my service cannot increase or diminish thy glory, yet it is pleasing to thy servant to be permitted to sound thy praise. For, O oh, Sovereign Lord, we know that thou art alone perfect and worthy to be worshipped. O Universal Father, look down upon us, we beseech thee with an eye of pity and compassion, and grant that universal peace and love may prevail in the earth, even that divine harmony which fills the heavens, thy glorious habitation. And O Sovereign Lord, since it has pleased thee to endue man with power and preeminence here on earth, and establish his dominion over all creatures, may we look up to thee, that our understanding may be so illuminated with wisdom, and our hearts warmed and animated with a due sense of charity, that we may be enabled to do thy will, and perform our duty towards those submitted to our service and protection and be merciful to them, even as we hope for mercy. Thus may we be worthy of the dignity and superiority of the high and distinguished station in which thou hast placed us here on earth.